Right now, out to the Bud Light guest line. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's none other than Gary St. Jean. And Coach, you know this, don't you? Like, when, when bad stuff happens, people love to hear from you. You have a calming influence on everybody. You know this, don't you? Well, as Dibs would say, i got to give you a hello, fellas. And, uh, Thank you. You know, it's, it's a tough time uh, because I was at Saturday's game and, you know, uh, my son Greg's coaching on Dallas. And, uh, you know, you, you're, we're all blessed to watch Steph Curry play basketball. Uh, you know, you're talking about Joe Montana. You're talking about Rice. We're talking about the greats in each sport. And he's going to go down as the greatest ever in basketball here in the Bay Area. And it's just a shame because I don't know about you guys. I think he was having a terrific year. He's having a fantastic year, um, although the team is not. Saint, what what do you see? Like when they get back to full strength, it's still the production is is not the same, especially on the defensive end. What 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 do you see right now? Well, you hit it on the head. It's it just consistent inconsistency. Uh, even this game Saturday night. They had to put all the starters back in the game against Dallas, who uh, without Lucas, like a G League. And uh, you know, I, I'm I'm bewildered. If the defensive stuff, you know, you got it, and he does a great job with it. And uh, you know, Wiggins is back, and he's your best perimeter defender. But you know, you 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 just don't have every night that focus on the game plan as to what to have, have to take place. And uh, then you turn the ball over and you're committing too many fouls and you get yourself in trouble. And this league, we've got a lot of parity in the West. I mean, they, they can weather this. I, I really believe it because of how jammed up everybody is. But with that said, to be a, a good playoff team, which they had, I wouldn't want to play them. If you're if you're Denver or the Clippers or one of the teams up top, do you want to play the Suns or the Warriors? Uh, I don't think so. And with that said, uh, if they can get things together, um, they can make some music, and then that's got to be their mantra as we go forward here. Yeah, no doubt, and you know, get everyone healthy, and then hope to make music in April. But when it comes to weathering the storm between now and Steph's return, how do they go about doing that, Saint? Well, Dibs, it's going to be interesting at what Steve does with the lineup. Whether he's, uh, how's he going to handle the point position? Now, they're going to play Jerome a lot. I'm really, really pleased with Dante DiVincenzo, but he's, he's more of a two. So, uh, it'll come on him, and, uh, and I'm going to circle back to Poole. And, uh, he's got to play better. Um, I, I just think he chases the ball. Plays too fast, and uh, defensively, it, it's not the uh, it's not really terrific on that end for him. So uh, he's the guy that I think has to step up in this situation, and I also think that Wiggins has to play like he did before the injury. He's starting to come around. I'm seeing things that, that he was doing before. Dibs, I don't know about you, but before he got hurt. I, I had him going to the All-Star game. That's how good I thought he was playing. And hopefully he can get back to playing at that level. Saint, what would you like to see the Warriors do at the trade deadline? Well, what you like to do, I mean, I sat there a lot of years. What you'd like to do and what you can do are two different things. And, you know, what what direction do they go? Well, you, you've got those those older guys, and they're not going anywhere. There, there's no doubt about it. And then you look at these young guys, and are you going to, Throw the cards in, uh, say on a, on a on Weissman. I that that's a debate that they've got to be having, you know. Uh, and what could you get back if, in fact, uh, he's out there? I don't think you're going to move Kaminga and and another guy that's going to get it when one guy goes down. The guy who's going to get an opportunity to play and played well when uh, they had injuries early in the season was Moody. Uh, you know, he did a good job, but you guys tell me. Uh, who's going to come knocking on their door for what? Uh, that that's the thing. Uh, you know, you got this huge trade yesterday, and uh, that brings a great player to the Western Conference, and that will help Dallas as long as he keeps his mouth shut and just plays basketball. Uh, but this thing, uh, 
it can, it can come together. I know everyone's, you know, I'm walking around chasing people are like, you know, saying, what do you think? And I said, hey, you just got to hang in there. This is, look, look at Luka Doncic has missed seven games. You know what Dallas's record is when he's out? 0-7. Yep. Okay, look at Booker. He's been out long time. Look where they are in the standing. And they still have some good players. So it's not going to be easy to weather this storm, but here's your deal. The schedule's not brutal. There's a lot of parity in the West, and you do have the nine-day All-Star break, which is beautiful because that gives you days to rehab. So, uh, you know, I know I read this morning that, that Steph had uh, had this media collateral issue uh, in 2018. So, you know, he knows what it's all about, and he does a great job with his treatment, and they'll they'll get guys on top of it. And, you know, uh, if anybody deserves to come back uh, full strength, it's Steph Curry. Yeah, we're all hoping he comes back full strength whenever he's able to come back. You mentioned the nine-day All-Star break. That's big. During that break, what would you as a coach do with Andrew Wiggins to get him to get revitalized and get him back to being the player that he was last June? Well, Dibs, I, I read that you know he had a couple bouts with the flu. Uh, you know, he got knocked on his keister. So, uh, you know what? This young guy is, is really a great story. Because, you know, he went so high and so much was expected of him in Minnesota. And then he got comfortable playing within this system to the point where, you know, he's uh, fantastic in the playoffs last year. Uh, You don't win without him. And uh, he was playing terrific this year. I just think a little time here. And I think now with Steph out, don't you guys agree that they're going to have to go to him more? Uh, The action that they like to run, which they ran the other night, Say you take the ball to the left side, free throw line extended. There'll be a small. Say it's say it's Stafford Jerome on the on the left box, and what and he and Wiggins is on the right box, and they cross screen with a small on him, so you can't switch it. And then he is really good on the box. And if you can get him down there early in the game, get him some touches, see the ball go through the hoop, maybe get to the free throw line, knock a couple down, then he's going to feel terrific about his game, and then we're going to see him. Start making threes like he was. That before the injury, he was shooting like forty percent from threes. Saying we agree with you. We were just having the same conversation about uh, the the frustration of of trying to watch Wiggins get back to where he was. Gary St. Jean with us, Willard and Dibs, ninety five seven. The game, Coach. You also you mentioned some things about Jordan Poole, which I think I like. I could feel listeners nodding while you were saying it. It's interesting. We all see the talent. We know about the contract that he got. It's been an interesting story. Now we're seeing more of Jordan Poole, and and there's all those great moments, but, man, it is it is a little too fast, and it is too many turnovers, and it is wobbly decision-making sometimes. W- what do you think? A- 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 any buyer's remorse? Well, I, I wouldn't go there yet, but uh... – you know, I, I, I sense the, the frustration from a lot of people, and I, I think it's uh, it's okay to feel that way. I, I, I don't think it's a lack of effort. I think he's a good guy. He's trying. Uh, but now he's going to have the ball a lot in his hands, and, and it's about decision-making. I mean, I, I sat there and watched. When you watch Clay and Steph and Draymond, they're like making sweet music out there. They just know <laughs> two counts ahead of time what's going to happen in front of their bench. Uh, a ball came out to Draymond, and, and uh, Steph cut right behind him and knocked down a three. And I said, "There's nobody else in the league that can do that." So he's getting Pool is getting an opportunity uh, to play with these just fantastic players. They're Hall of Famers, and he's taken some things from them. But now he has to have carryover on the floor, and you don't have to go 99 miles an hour. You've got to change your gears and stay in control and take care of the ball and create opportunities for others. He, he can get by people uh, and, and get to, to the paint. Then it's, you know, you draw a big and you make the little shuffle pass to, to the, the guy, the big he was guarding for a dunk. You pitch it out because the defense contracted. You pitch it to the corner for a three. Or do you finish yourself? And, you know, sometimes his shot selection on the three uh, – to me, leaves a little bit to be desired, and, and no better example than when Steph got thrown out, throwing his uh, mouthpiece. Um, so that, that, and I'm sure they're watching film with him and they're talking to him about it. But 
this he's the guy that you're going to watch here over the next few weeks uh, and, and really uh, say, hey, it's your time now. Let's go. Yeah, and paid to be the future of the franchise. Another guy who's supposed to be the future, James Wiseman, saying he's only played 2% of the minutes yeah. for Golden State this year. What do you make of James Wiseman and whether or not he fits with the way they like to play here in Golden State? You know, I was an optimist and thought he could be a little bit like eight down in Phoenix. Uh, and what are they asking him to do? Run the floor. Uh, we call it rim run. You run from rim to rim, an, an early offense, and you're a target there. He can do that very well. He can run the high pick and roll and roll to the basket. Uh, where I'm, I'm a little perplexed would be the word. He, you know how you look at an athlete and you say, gosh, this guy's got speed, he's got quickness, he can jump. But you've you got to have instincts for the game. And, and maybe you can put a little of that on pool, too. Um, for example, there's dribble penetration, and he's weak side. He's not coming with quickness to block the shot. He sees it, it takes two counts to react, and then he comes over. Or there's a ball up on the glass. And he doesn't have to be a position rebounder. He can be a guy who pursues the ball because he jumps so well. Well, those are the key things, whether it's shot blocking, shot contestment, or rebounding. Those are the big things that will get him on the floor. And then he gets touches and, you know, when guys penetrate and he finishes with a dunk. But that's the areas that that you're looking for him. And maybe now because they're going to have to go a little bit deeper and I think they've got three sets of back-to-backs in the, I don't know, maybe in the next 10, 15 games when Steph will be out. Probably Clay doesn't play. And, you know, they're going to be cautious with, I'm going to use the word with Draymond, because they don't want that calf in the back thing to act up. So they're going to be careful with him. So maybe there'll be some minutes for him. But, guys, you know this. you got to earn it. They're not going to hand it to him when you're pursuing the playoffs in a championship. And uh, that tells me that uh, he hasn't really been stellar, say, in the practices uh, when they do practice. Saint, uh, great stuff. I was actually just looking at those back-to-backs you were referencing. Uh, they are, uh, they're coming real soon here uh, later on this month. Appreciate you coming on, my friend. Hey, guys. You guys have a great day. And, and Dibs, I miss you, buddy. I miss you too, Saintly One. You need to come in here and, uh, and, and, and bless us with your presence. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. All right, there he goes, Gary St. Jean.